Hi, this is Dan Sullivan. I'd like to welcome you to the Multiplier Mindset Podcast. One of the things I find really kind of funny in the program is when people see my Colby profile. So those of you who are on the Colby, everybody in Strategic Coach knows about Colby. This is for us probably the single most valuable outside profiling system that we use in Strategic Coach. And what the Colby profile, you can just see for yourself, just go to colby.com. What it does is it very quickly identifies how you take action to get results in your work and just throughout your life. My Colby, for those who don't know it, is two fact finder, two follow through, 10 quick start, and a four implementer. The moment that I tell people what my Colby is or they see it written, they said, oh, you must not like rules at all. And I look at them and I said, are you kidding? I said, how long have you been in the program? It's just all rules. And I said, I love rules, but I love my own rules. I don't love other people's rules. I love my own rules. And they say, well, I don't know how you can be disciplined to your rules. And I said, the reason I'm disciplined to my rules is I don't want to be disciplined to other people's rules. So in life, to be successful, you have to follow rules. In other words, that in every situation, do this, don't do this, focus on this, don't focus on that. And those are what rules are. They're guidelines to lead you to the best performance and the best possible results and keep doing that consistently better for the entire length of your entrepreneurial career. That's what rules are. Most people think of autonomy as independence. They say, well, autonomy means that you're independent from other people's control. And I said, yes, that's true. But actually the word autonomy really deals with the central issues here because autonomy is a word that combines a Greek word with a Latin word. And what it means is self, auto means self, automobile is where you get to drive yourself. Anytime you see auto, it means self. And nomos comes from a Greek word, which means law or rules. Laws are rules. So auto nomos, autonomy, means someone who basically can create their own rules. They're self-ruled. And if you're not autonomous, then you're going to be ruled by other people, whether you like it or not. So what I do is, in any situation, when I'm thinking about taking a big jump in my progress, my personal progress, to a higher level of capability, to a higher level of confidence, what I do is I use our thinking tool, which is the impact filter. And what the impact filter does is that it, first of all, it states my intentions in the project. This is why I'm doing this project. This is why it's important. This is the purpose. This is the best possible result. This is what's going to happen if I don't achieve this. This is what's going to happen if I really achieve it. And then here are the eight success criteria that tell me whether I reached it or not. So one way of looking at these success criteria is that they're rules. They're saying when you achieve this result, which for you is a huge jump, this will be true, this will be true, this will be true, this will be true. And one way of looking at each of these success criteria is that they're actually self-rules. You're actually making yourself autonomous in a new area of higher performance and higher results. So every day I'm exploring new territory, I'm creating new possibilities, I'm creating new opportunities, but one of the activities that I do is that I continually tell myself what my own rules are going to be for my performance. So strangely enough, with this Colby, which a lot of people to be interpret to be almost like a rule breaker, actually I've turned it into just the opposite, that I'm a profound rule maker. So if you want to be a rule breaker, then you have to be a rule maker because you can't live without rules. And if you don't have your own rules, guess whose rules you're going to follow? You're going to be controlled by other people's rules. And that's really, after all, what entrepreneurism about is that you are confident enough of your own abilities that you'll go into the marketplace and you will escape from other people's rules. But the requirement for you to be successful in this jump into the marketplace is for every rule you had when you felt kind of controlled by other people, you have to replace it with a rule of your own. 
So this totally changes a lot of people's attitudes because there's this, I consider to be this totally unrealistic notion that I'm an entrepreneur because I can't stand rules. And I've seen people who have this attitude and they're continually frustrated because they don't follow other people's rules, but they don't have any rules of their own to guide their behavior. They're on a treadmill. They never make any progress and they use up needless energy breaking everybody's rules, including their own. So you could probably relieve yourself of an enormous amount of personal stress and anxiety and frustration if you just accept the reality is that wherever you are, there's going to be 100% rules. Which percentage are going to be other people's rules and which percentage are going to be yours? And in my case, what I've tried to do is every year, out of 100% rules, I've tried to make a higher percentage of the rules be my own rules so that I'm really not controlled by other people's rules. So nobody ever talks about this. I've never seen any books written about it. I've never seen anyone from the stage ever talk about this. I've never seen any surveys of entrepreneurs actually talk about this. But this ability and the necessity of creating your own rules is perhaps the greatest new habit and skill and attitude that you can have to keep growing for the rest of your life.